Harvey Proctor's name became a byword for sexual scandal when he was found to have paid rent boys to call him sir and pretend he was their headmaster while he spanked them furiously. He also lied about it egregiously and several times. But none of that comes even close to the things he stands accused of today. Should these investigations, questions, allegations be examined publicly or does he have the right to remain innocent and secret, if you will, until proven otherwise? Well, if you want people who have been abused to learn for the first time in British history that they'll be treated with respect and compassion and trust, then you have to do it in public, don't you? I am sure that there has been historic child sexual abuse, and I made it clear in my statement that I have the utmost sympathy and support for genuine victims. I think the